Hello my dears, welcome back to my channel. Today is Vlogmas Day 14 and we are doing another pregnancy update. It is my 34 week pregnancy update and wow, I can't believe it. I only have a month until delivery and I'm super pumped. But anyways, let's go ahead and jump right on into this video. <music> I just weighed myself as always I'm 141 pounds I've been craving push pops like crazy and those of you that know I've been dairy free there are dairy and the push pops that I like you know the ones that you used to get like as a kid like the sherbet ones or like the rainbow ones oh my gosh it's like making my mouth water right now I've really been craving those, um, like really, really bad. Also chocolate donuts again, oh, all the sweets again, like it's coming back. I kind of kicked the sweets to the curb for a while, but now they're coming in hot. So something really exciting um, that I've mentioned on my vlogs, but I'm gonna mention it here as well because this is a pregnancy update, but I've scheduled my C-section and I don't know, I'm just, that's crazy that like it's just scheduled we know the birth date if I don't go into labor before then but the scheduled date is January the 15th which is a Tuesday it was going to be that Saturday but they didn't have any availability so it's January the 15th and we have to it's at 7 30 a.m we have to be there two hours before so like 5 30 and it's like an hour away but it's okay um another thing with that is i can't eat past uh, midnight the night before those of you that don't know i am having a scheduled c-section so yeah um the date is scheduled which is really exciting and kind of surreal it kind of just like puts everything in motion into gear and like kind of makes me realize wow like this is happening so soon and it's so exciting so a few things that have been going on this past week my nipples have been really really sore like sore like really sore to the touch like Garrick and I usually take a shower together that's probably TMI but we normally take a shower together like after Wilder goes to bed um, every night like that's our nighttime shower or whatever and um he like bumped into me and my he barely bumped into me and i got so angry because my he like hit my nipple and it hurt so freaking bad like just the slightest touch just hurts and like is so sensitive and along with that my hormones are just through the roof like I, when i say through the roof i know that i'm hormonal whenever like there's a hormonal situation going on and I know it in my head like oh this is this is just my hormones like I need to stop and then it makes me even more angry because I can't stop whatever I'm thinking or whatever is going on because it's like hormones just take over I'm mentioning that because whenever he hit my nipple I was so mad and it was nothing to get like it was not even his fault it wasn't anything to get mad over but whenever he touched like accidentally like touched my nipple I was like oh my god like I was so mad and that's just the hormones talking and I feel <laughs> I feel so bad when I'm like mean like that but yeah the hormones are definitely through the roof like I I just I can't control my emotions and it's really getting frustrating um also kind of a topic that I didn't really think that I was going to talk about or didn't know if I should talk about. Um, but it is anxiety and I guess this kind of goes off of like the hormones, but my anxiety has just been through the roof also. And I've kind of always struggled with like having anxiety, but I kind of just pushed it off to the side always. But now it's like I can't do that and I find myself up at night all the time just thinking and stuck in my thoughts and just getting anxiety over the littlest things and just getting so worked up and it's getting so frustrating and I I've talked to my doctor about it and she said that a lot of women go through it. I read a lot about it also and a lot of people are saying that it can be an early sign 
of postpartum depression even before you give birth, which is kind of scary um, because I didn't have postpartum depression really with Wilder. I just ha kind of had like the baby blues for like a few weeks and then it went away, thank God. But even those baby blues, it was really awful. And Wilder was really colicky at the same time. So I was just going through a lot and it wasn't even like postpartum depression. It was just like a sliver of it. And I just, I hope that I don't go through that this time around because those of you that know, I'm like, anti-medication and I just don't want to have to put myself in that situation um, but yeah the anxiety has definitely been a struggle recently and I give props to Garrick because literally I just I cry all the time now over the ri most ridiculous things ever I know it's ridiculous he knows it's ridiculous but he's just so sweet about it and if he wasn't and like if I didn't have him as my rock I really don't know what I would do literally I woke him up y'all I woke him up out of his sleep when he had to work the next morning because I had been up it was probably like two in the morning and I just could not fall asleep because I was in my thoughts and just thinking about all these things and it was just it was really like heavy on my heart and I I had so much anxiety and I woke him up I was crying so he was like already like moving and kind of waking up and then I just was like babe can I just talk to you for a second please sorry there's dog barking out there but I was like babe can I please talk to you for a second he just woke up and he was like what's going on he was like why are you crying he he like he just comforts me so much and I'm just so blessed I'm going on a rant but I'm just so thankful that I have him because I really don't know what I would do in those moments if I didn't um I would just be even more of a wreck but yeah anxiety and hormones and pregnancy is it's just it's on a whole nother level and pregnancy is I say this all the time but pregnancy is just it does weird things to you it really does and it's so weird and incredible and beautiful at the same time but there are those struggles that come along with it um, and I just I really hope that I am not gonna have to deal with postpartum depression or anything like that another thing that's been really on my mind again going back to like the hormones anxiety and stuff is my c-section and for those of you that don't know yes I'm having a scheduled c-section like I just mentioned and why do I just randomly get a list? It makes me so angry. But anyways, I am having a scheduled C-section and um, I've just been really thinking about it a lot lately and it just, it gives me anxiety and it makes me sad and it makes me emotional and it's just a really weird topic for me because I want so badly more than anything to have a vaginal birth and I'll just get on my phone and research VBAC all the time and every doctor that I've spoke with has already told me like the safest route is just to have a scheduled c-section controlled just because my labor with Wilder and how close these pregnancies are everyone has just advised me to just go the safest route for those of you that don't know there's just a lot of complications that can happen with VBAC and I guess especially being the pregnancies are so close together but it really has been weighing really heavy on my heart especially since I went to see one of my really good friends in the hospital who just delivered her baby and she is just doing so well living her best like just up and moving able to you know like hold her kids and like whenever I left I just got super emotional because and I can't even go through a video without crying I can't help but think and I can't help but stress about the recovery because the recovery with Wilder it was just awful and it hurt so bad and I had to be on medication just like I mentioned before I really hate medication i hate it so much like prescription medication that you have to take and like that alters your brain and i i think it was like percocet and tylenol that i had to alternate and it just made me so loopy to where i don't remember much of number one my labor and delivery i it's such a blur and it 
it upsets me to this day and even after Wilder was born like that first week was such a blur and I just feel like if I had a vaginal birth everything would be totally different but I know that it's in God's plan and whatever happens happens for a reason but like I said it's just another thing that's giving me anxiety and I can't help it and if any of you guys have any recommendations on like things for recovery after a c-section comment below dm me let's talk about it i would love to know what made your life just a little bit easier that much easier because i just remember it being awful and i just it sucks that i i won't even be able to like pick up wilder or you know just I don't know and we have stairs in our house and I'm just gonna be having to rely on Garrick to do everything and um, not that he he would he's gonna love that he's gonna love to be home for a while and just do everything but it's just emotional and tr it's stressful to think about and I'm trying not to be stressed about it because I know it reflects on the baby and I don't want to be stressed out and I try my best just not to think about it but I know that it's coming up so quickly and yeah it just anxiety stress hormones are a really big thing that's been happening recently but at the same time I try to be so thankful and I try to realize and wrap my brain around like I live in this day and age where surgeons are available to me and there are surgeons and I'm able to deliver my baby um, safely so there's that and I just I just need to hold on to that and just quit stressing about everything else um, but yeah it just sucks when your mind just you know keeps going and going and going and going on a lighter note I really feel like my acne is clearing up a lot um, because there was like pretty much my whole pregnancy where I was just breaking out all the time even like my shoulders and stuff and now I just feel like it's clearing up a lot and I'm really really grateful for that I feel like my pregnancy with Wilder also I broke out even worse than I am now so I'm thankful it's not worse I have definitely noticed that I've been clearing up and don't even ask me what my routine is because I literally don't have a routine y'all like I'm the worst with like face routines and all that kind of I'm just the worst and I just feel like when I put more product on my face, it just makes my face react more and break out more. I don't know. Does that make sense? But anyways, I just wash my face with clear, no, Cetaphil? Cetaphil? I don't know what it's called, but I will leave it right here if anyone is interested. I just use that and I use micellar water. I always wash my face every single day, but... I don't really have like a routine where I do like moisturizer and lotion and all that kind of stuff. I just don't. But yeah, my skin is clearing up, so that's good. This past week, I've been really having sharp pains, like especially whenever I get up too fast. Like this morning, I was just cooking breakfast for Wilder and I. I was just making eggs and some preparing some fruits and stuff, and I couldn't stand there any longer, and I had to leave the eggs and like sit down. And it just, that's just ridiculous. It just, it's getting so uncomfortable. And I know people are probably like, shut up, like you're pregnant. Like that's just what happened. But that's what these are for, these pregnancy updates. I'm just saying what's going on. But yeah, I'm just having really sharp pains recently. And also my back is killing me. Obviously at this point in most people's pregnancies, their back does have pain and mine definitely does even up to like my shoulders it's getting really really hard to sleep my belly is always really really tight I'm having contractions very frequently but they're just Braxton Hicks they don't like last very long or anything like that but I definitely am noticing them my belly is just always super freaking tight oh my goodness i feel like i have no room to breathe like somebody is always sitting on my chest i forgot to mention about my boobs they're also leaking and i feel like recently within like the past 48 hours like a week to 48 hours my boobs have just become tremendously swollen and like they almost feel like engorged not like engorged like extremely like painful engorged but they definitely feel swollen and just like tight i don't know it's uncomfortable 
and I just feel like they've gotten a lot bigger and just swollen and leaking and boobs. Hormone based and frustrating. That's what this week has summed up. But nonetheless, I am super grateful for all of it, for literally every single thing that pregnancy has to offer. I, I'm grateful to be able to experience it. I don't want to sit here and just sound like I'm such a complainer and just complaining about my pregnancy because I know there's so many people that are dying to feel these things that I'm feeling good and bad so I'm grateful for everything and I'm so thankful that I'm able to even carry a baby that I am pregnant and that I've made it this far along and I'm just I'm, I am so grateful and I'm so blessed and I don't want anyone to think otherwise <laughs> update vlogmas day 14 if you guys like this video please give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you have not already don't forget to click your notification bell so you guys don't miss any of our upcoming videos this is so weird saying the outro without garrick but thank you guys so much for watching we love you so much thank you for being a part of our family seriously it means the absolute world just seeing all of your comments and just reading everything and it just, it really means the world to us, and I really want you to know how much we appreciate every single one of you. But yeah, guys, that is all for today. Thank you so much. We'll see you tomorrow, and keep it Christmas.